In a desert gully near Reno, Nevada, two women are on a mission. Uh, are you going to find your horses now? Control the wild horse population. You know which ones have been inoculated mm -hmm. and which ones still need birth control. Right. Okay, this is a great shot, though. They have to get close enough for an open shot with a birth control dart. Got her. Hopefully, that will be her last baby. For years, the wild horse population has exploded. Federal lands can accommodate around 27,000 wild horses protected under law. But today, there are close to 73,000 in the wild, plus around 46,000 that are held in massive corrals and pastures like this one in Nevada. Well, the reality is we've got to make some hard choices. The Trump administration's budget would slash the amount to care for wild horses removed from the range by 20 percent, which could mean fewer government birth control programs and make these majestic figures of the American West targets for slaughter. So most of your money is going to keeping horses in facilities like this or pastures. Correct. As opposed to the horses that are out on the range. That's correct. The population is unsustainable at this point. We can't take care of the rangelands, we can't take care of the horses, and we certainly can't meet the, the budget expectations uh, the way we are. For this Colorado rancher, overpopulation means their family's cows can't graze. My uncle and my neighbor, they can't even go out there with their livestock. There's too many horses out there. Advocates say private programs will have to step up to prevent horses from being euthanized or sold into slaughter with birth control for horses in the wild and new homes for Mustangs that can be tamed. If we can get them adopted out and keep them from going there, we're saving lots of money. But with a shrinking budget and a growing population, the wild symbol of freedom in the American West faces uncertainty on the range. Gotti Schwartz, NBC News, Reno, Nevada.